<clears throat> After to finish with that last frame, hold on to your seats, folks, because I don't know what's going to happen next. Poor safety shot from Ronnie. I'm just wondering if that... Because look at the way the balls One. are situated. Well, this match could be over quite quickly. He's asking him what the price for the maximum break is here. <laughs> is that what he's asked the referee? I'm not quite sure if that's what he said. Uh, he's waiting for something, though. You were right, John. He was trying to find out what the prize for the 147 break is. <laughs> it's bizarre. <laughs> hey, players stop because the player wants to know what the prize for a maximum is. Yeah. Well, I've seen some things at the game of snooker, but I've never seen anything quite like this. Hmm. Well, we were still waiting to find out, but I don't think it pays anything. So, No, I don't think so. I'm not 100% sure. Well, I know there's £4,000 for the highest break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know Nine. whether the, the uh, pound a point or a thousand pound a point is that the, the give of the world championship is on. Well, we'll try and find out for him when he gets <laughs> down to the last black and then... Uh... <laughs> yeah. 16. 17. Yeah, I bet a referee's never been asked that question before, uh, John. 25. I once was playing in the UK and I asked the, uh, the referee what the highest break in the tournament was, and funny enough, it was Les Dodd, the player from Southport, who said it was 120-odd. <laughs> so instead of playing for the black, it was 25 years ago, I've forgiven him. 33. Forty-one. So we can confirm that there isn't a special prize for the 147 in this tournament. There's £4,000 for the highest break. There's just a high break price, Ronnie. The referee just pounds. telling Ronnie there, confirming that, that it's just a high break price. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, he'd be absolutely gutted. He pulled his face, 49. didn't he? Oh, to be that relaxed, Dennis. A chuck. Is he still OK? 57. 65. I'm not quite sure, John, but I think Stephen Hendry's made nine maximum breaks as well, so that's something to go at to try and overtake the great Stephen Hendry's record. We could say Ronnie's doing this maximum for free. That's quite amazing, isn't it? After seeing what happened in the previous frame and now we're watching what has to be said, a, a genius at work again. Now, has he run too far this time? 88. Yeah. 89. Well, if you look around the crowd, there's smiles everywhere. They just love watching this fella perform on the snooker table. A tough red. And in it goes. It's all about pace. He's got the line as he got the pace. He's got the line as he got the pace. Absolutely superb. And you were right, Dennis. Stephen Hendry has made nine maximums. Can Ronnie better him? Can he make it ten? 105. And if he does, he's going to do it in Stephen's home patch here in Scotland. One hundred and thirteen. Maybe we should have a whip round if he gets it. Okay. 
Absolutely. 122. And he's smiling and joking with Jan Verhaas, the referee. 125. What can you say about this man? I mean, as we say in the last frame, it looks as though he wasn't really bothered. 129. Mark King is Mr. Red, and this has just been sensational. Sensational. 134. 140. Yeah, what a match. What a session. Well, come on, Rory. You're not going to Put the black. There's only one Ronnie O'Sullivan. He wins 3-0, but sensational.